Okay, we're going to look at similar triangles. We're going to start with a triangle and a similar smaller triangle as follows. We're going to say that this side is 6, this side is 9, and that this side is 15, and this side is x. Well, that side corresponds to that side, and that side corresponds to that side. The ratio in which that side is bigger to that side will be the same as the ratio in which that side is bigger to that side. So I can say that 9 to 6 as a fraction, as a ratio, is equal to 15 to x as a ratio. I can then cross multiply. 9 times x is 9x is equal to 15 times 6, which is 90. x equals 90 over 9, and x is equal to 10. Let's try another one. So this time I've got a triangle with x and 20, and a similar but bigger triangle, which is... or rather x and 10, and a bigger triangle which is 15 and 12. So the ratio of the sides will be the same. So x to 15, x over 15 will have the same value, the ratio of those, as 10 to 12. Again, I can cross multiply, 12 times x is 12x, is equal to 10 times 50 is 150 x equals 150 over 12 and x is equal to 12.5 ok next one I've got a triangle as follows that's 20 and that's 12 and a bigger similar triangle and that's x and 16. So 20 to x as is 12 to 16. Cross multiply 12 times x, 12x is equal to 16 times 20. Quick calculation that's 320. x equals 320 divided by 12. And that will give me 26.66. Okay, time for a couple of trickier examples. Okay, let's say we've now got... That's 8 and that's 10. And this side here is 12. And we'll call this bit X. The best way to approach a question like this is to almost think about this being a smaller triangle that's sitting on a bigger triangle and to think about the triangle separately. So I'll draw them out separately. There's a smaller one, 12 to 8, or 12 and 8 rather, and the bigger one will be 10. Now, this side, it can be a common mistake to write down 12x there. But if you think about it, 12x means 12 times x, whereas the length of that line there is 12 plus x. So the ratio of the sides are the same, so 12 to 12 plus x will be equal to 8 to 10. So this time we've got the fact that 12 to 12 plus x will be equal to 8 to 10. And we can cross multiply. So, 8 lots of 12 plus x will be equal to 12 lots of 10, which is 120. 8 lots of 12 is 96, so that's 96 plus 12x equals 120. That'll be 12x equals 120, take away 96, which is 24. And x will be equal to 
24 divided by 12, x is equal to 2. Ok, let's try another one. This time we'll say that this side is 5 and that side is 8. This side here is x and this side here is 4. So let's draw them out separately. So it's 5 and x. And the bigger triangle, that will be 8. And x plus 4. So x to x plus 4 is equal to 5 to 8. x to x plus 4 equals 5 to 8. Cross multiply. 5 lots of x plus 4 is equal to 8x. So that's 5x plus 20 equals 8x. Get the letters to the left numbers to the right. So 5x minus 8x is equal to minus 20. Minus 3x equals minus 20. x equals minus 20 over minus 3 and x would be equal to positive 20 over 3. We can just leave that as a fraction. Ok, so let's try another one. This time we've got, that's 16 and that's 20. This side here is 22 and this side is x so think about it again as a smaller triangle on top of a bigger triangle so let's draw them out separately that's like the smaller scale so that it fits in so here's the bigger triangle x and that will be 20 plus 16 36 with the smaller one being 22 and 16 so x to 22 will be equal to 36 to 16. Cross multiply. 16x will be equal to 36 times 22, which is 792. x will be equal to 792 divided by 16, which is equal to 49.5. Ok, finally let's look at one where we've got triangles that are in a slightly different position so that they're turned round and not facing the same way. At that point it can be a slightly trickier to identify the corresponding sides. So if I've got a triangle and a bigger triangle here it's obvious to see that that side corresponds to that one, that one to that one and that one to that one. Slightly more difficult when the triangles have been turned round. Now, a good way of identifying sides that correspond is by finding kind of anchor points. So, those two angles are equal. We're going to mark them with a circle. That's a Z. So, I could mark that they're equal with an X and another Z and that they're equal with a plus. I can then say with confidence that between the circle and the plus sign, and the circle and the plus sign, those two sides must correspond. And between the cross and the plus, the cross and the plus, those two sides must correspond. So, the bigger side 20 to the smaller side x equals the bigger side 18 to the smaller side 12. That will be 18x equals 12 times 20, which is 240. x equals 240 divided by 18, and x is equal to 13.33.